Welcome to the virtual awards ceremony for Unity Christian Academy. Every year on this day, I look back and can't believe that another school year has come and gone. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our parents, grandparents, family members, and friends for helping to make this a successful year at UCA. Our goal here at UCA is to come alongside you as the family and your local church in helping to educate and cultivate your child's soul. We could not do this without you, so again, we just want to say thank you for being involved in your child's education. First off, we would like to recognize the students who made honor roll all year long, beginning with the students who made straight A's. Sam Jackson, Graylin Moore, Ryan Bradbury, Brennan Crocker, Blaine Horton, Harper Smith, Colin Crocker, Jimmy Moore, Lily Stevenson, Daisy Cherry, Bryson Mills, Gage Spencer, and Alvin Sattler. Now we will recognize the students who made A's and B's all year long. Thea Brinson, Reagan Mills, Brantley Waters, Eric Coward, Jackson Evans, Annabeth Godley, Emma Peters, Caleb Potter, Zoe Robinson, Lindsay Woolard, Mason Paul, Jake Whitehurst, Kaylee Balance, Victorian Collins, Halani Mason, McKenna Overton, Gabe Purcella, Cody Simpson, Gracie Hunnings, Caleb Lewis, Wesley Mason, Ava Peters, Christian Reyes, and Lena Timmons. The next award we would like to give is for perfect attendance. With so many other things competing for your time as well as unexpected events, perfect attendance is rare. But we did have several students who were in school every single day this year and we want to recognize that accomplishment. The Perfect Attendance Awards for the 2020-2021 school year go to Blaine Horton, Zoe Robinson, Ava Peters, and Alvin Sadler. Now we would like to highlight the students who are receiving the President's Award for Educational Excellence. This award is given to students who are completing 4th, 8th, and 12th grades. This award recognizes academic success in the classroom. To be eligible, students must have an 85% or higher core total in reading or math on a nationally normed achievement test, and they must also have an average of at least a 90 or a 3.5 GPA. The students receiving this award are Jimmy Moore, Colin Crocker, and Lily Stevenson. Every year we have class spelling bees in second through eighth grades. The winner from each class then go on to participate in our school spelling bee. We would like to recognize our classroom winners and school-wide winner. Our second grade win winner was Reagan Mills. In third grade, our winner was Emma Peters. Our fourth grade classroom winner was Lily Stevenson. In fifth grade, the winner was Bryson Mills. And lastly, in sixth grade, our winner was Alvin Sadler. Our school-wide spelling bee winner was Alvin Sadler, who went on to represent UCA at the county-wide spelling bee. At this time, we will have each class recite their memory verse and teachers will give their awards. Warrior Award for my class goes to Colton Lassiter. He has shown willingness to be a friend to all, um, always willing to play with any of his friends who would like to play, and just kind to everyone.
This year's Warrior Award goes to the child who is always kind, helpful, and always does her best on her work. This year's Warrior Award goes to Kate Crocker. The Armor of God, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, Garden Warrior Award goes to a student that always has a caring heart, a willing to help others, and is a friend to everyone. This year's Warrior Award goes to A.J. Cherry. Jesus calls us to be kind and compassionate to one another, to forgive one another just as he has forgiven us. This scripture comes to mind each year as I began to contemplate the recipient for the Classroom Warrior Award. This student has always used the words, yes ma'am, no ma'am, and please and thank you. If someone has gotten hurt or has had his or her feelings hurt, this student has usually been the first one to go to the wounded individual to let them know everything is going to be all right. This student reflects the picture of Christ's humbleness and gentleness. It has been a privilege to have had this student in my classroom this year. It is my honor to nominate Taylor Woolard as the recipient of the Warrior Award for first grade this year the most improved in reading. The first time I heard this student try to read, I thought to myself, I am not sure whether I am going to be able to get this student to the level they need to be before the end of first grade. This student perhaps knew three of the 100 kindergarten sight words and certainly no first grade sight words. I began immediately having this student read with me my own Dick and Jane books, which are full of sight words. We have read, read, 
and we have read some more. Today, I am happy to introduce, announce to you this student can read all of their kindergarten and first grade sight words and stories and many books. This student has come a long way and many prayers have been prayed over the student. It is with great honor to present Wyatt Howard with the most improved reading award for first grade. The highest average in phonics and language. If this student were one of the characters of any of the Winnie Pooh books, this student would definitely be Tigger. This student has jumped and jumped in the classroom this year. The student, this student is meticulous and very bright, especially in phonics and language. This student grasps new phonic rules and blends quickly and rarely makes mistakes. There is no doubt this student will have a very successful future. It is my honor to present the highest average award in phonics and language to Sam Cutler. The highest average in math. I did not know this student well until they arrived at UCA. Right away, I recognize their ability to grasp the concepts in math. No matter what math concept I would present to the class, this student caught it immediately. No matter where I was in the classroom, they would get out of their seat, walk right up to me because they felt what they needed to tell me was something very important. I am certain I have had to tell this student a million times, return to your seat and raise your hand to be recognized or stop getting out of your seat without permission. This student's love of math will certainly take them far. This student will certainly need their math skills as they calculate the tilt angles, weight and balance measurements, and the amount of fuel needed in the aircrafts they will definitely be flying one day. It is my honor to present the highest average in math to Sam Jackson. Ten Commandments, Exodus 23 through 17. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt have no other image in my midst of the thing that is in heaven above or the earth beneath or that is the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve. very proud of my entire class this year. Each of them has worked very hard, overcome obstacles, dealt with social distancing, COVID restrictions, worn masks, washed hands throughout the day, disinfected desk, doorknobs, handles, and still manage to smile and learn daily. Each of them have grown physically, and academically, and most importantly, spiritually throughout the school year. They have made my last year at UCA most enjoyable and have been a tremendous blessing to me daily. Each of them will always hold a special place in my heart. My class awards are as following. Most improved reading goes to Brantley Waters. Brantley has worked hard to earn this award and I'm proud of his efforts and hard work. Highest reading award goes to Graylin Moore. Graylin is an excellent reader and enjoys reading. I'm proud of her enthusiasm she shares in reading. Most improved math, I have two recipients this year. Hannah Willis and Cadence Brayboy. 
Hannah has worked hard in math, although some concepts created a challenge, she stuck with it and tried her very best and it paid off. I'm proud of all of her efforts. Kate showed improvement throughout the school year in math and I'm proud of her willingness to continue to try hard and not give up. Highest math award goes to Reagan Mills. Reagan has worked hard throughout the school year. She's eager to learn and always tries her best. She meets the challenge head on and doesn't give up. I'm proud of each one of these recipients and hope they will continue to work hard, try their best and don't give up. My UCA Warrior second, for second grade. Each week our Bible lesson focuses on a character trait of a Christian, thankfulness, responsibility, obedience, self-control, confession, attentiveness, and encouragement to name just a few. I have observed this student demonstrating each of these characteristics and have a desire to please God in every way. One particular trait that stands out is confession. This student admits when he's done wrong and he shows humility when he does it. He accepts the fact that he's made a mistake and is genuinely sorry for his, action and his actions and is quick to apologize both to his classmates and to his teachers. This student loves to discuss the Bible, has a desire to learn about God, shows courage by sharing it with others, and being an example of what Christ would have him to be. We have prayer requests each day, and this student always mentions others that God has placed upon his heart to add to our list. It may be a neighbor who is building a house, it may be his parents, his grandparents, or his pet dog, but you know he is thinking about others and he wants to pray for them. This student is always ready to help in any way, whether it be to take out the trash or help another student. He does it with compassion and humility. This recipient is an excellent role model for others and his servant's heart is an indicator of just this. I have seen this student grow physically, academically, and most importantly, spiritually throughout this school year. I know God has special plans for him. It is my pleasure to give UCA's Warrior Award for second grade to Brantley Waters. most improved in math. This student strived to do her best. She never became frustrated when the work was challenging. She always tried her best and I've seen huge growth in her confidence as well as her academic abilities. This award goes to Lindsay Lee Woolard. The next award I'd like to give is for most improved in reading. This student worked hard all year to increase his fluency rate, his comprehension, and his accuracy as a reader. I'm very proud of the growth I've seen in this student, both academically and socially. This award goes to Eric Mason Coward. The third award I'd like to present is for the highest math average. This was a very close tie in third grade between two students. 
This student uh, makes me so proud. She never gives up. She loves to learn and to be challenged. At the beginning of the year, multiplication facts were a little tough for her, but she persevered and has become a phenomenal math student. Her name is Blaine Watson Horton. Finally, the last academic award I'd like to present is for the highest ELA average. This includes spelling, grammar, reading, comprehension, and writing. This student is a wonderful speller, strong in grammar, as well as in reading and writing. He is a great creative writer and seems to enjoy reading all different kinds of genres. This award goes to Brennan Thomas Crocker. The last award is one of the most important awards you can receive here at UCA. The Warrior Award typically goes to a student that demonstrates a Christ-like attitude and godly character traits. This student has shown kindness towards her classmates, perseverance in all she does, love to all of her classmates, patience while tutoring some of her other peers, self-control by always obeying and making good choices even when others weren't. She is a kind spirit that is a true joy to know and teach. This very special award goes to Blaine Watson Horton. had a wonderful year this year. It was honestly flown by and I'm so proud of each and every one of these guys. I wish I could give each one of my students an award, but um, unfortunately I can't. Ms. Crocker's asked us not to go overboard. So here it goes. First of all, I want to recognize the student that has the highest average in, both, in math. This student works um, hard no matter what the subject is and always does her best. Um, she is a pleasure to teach. The student with the highest average in math is Lily Stevenson. The student the student with the highest language arts grade does their work without complaining and honestly has a comprehension of language arts that is pretty outstanding. I'm super proud to say Colin Crocker is my highest language arts award. Uh, I also want to recognize the student that has most improved this year in math. Um, this student struggled some in the beginning, especially with word problems and such, but by the end she was killing it. Um, my most improved in math is Kayla Davis. Another award I would like to um, recognize is my most improved in reading. Um, this student has struggled some with reading, but never lets that cause him not to want to read or participate in class. He works so hard every day to strengthen his reading skills. My most improved in reading is Jimmy Moore. Now for the Warrior Award. The Warrior Award was a very hard um, award to give to just one child. This class has been an exceptional class in their Bible knowledge and their application. I have watched all of them grow this year spiritually and it makes my heart smile. When determining who got this award, I thought of the child who plays with everyone, the child who worked diligently on everything I gave them to do, the child showed love and kindness in his words and actions to all the children and adults he came into contact with. He never complained about the work I asked them to do or anything for that matter. I can't wait to watch this young man grow up because I know he will do great things for the Lord. My Warrior Award goes to Jake Whitehurst. First John 4, 7 through 12. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. The first award that I have is the fifth grade language arts award. The student receiving this award has excelled in the areas of reading, vocabulary, grammar, and spelling. She is a very hard worker 
and because of her hard work, she has achieved the highest average in fifth grade language arts. This award goes to Daisy Cherry. The next award is for the sixth grade language arts. The student receiving this award has also excelled in all areas of language arts. He is an excellent student and always strives to do his very best in everything that he does. He has an exceptional work ethic and has achieved a perfect 100 average for the school year in language arts. This award goes to Alvin Sadler. The last award for the fifth grade is the Fifth Grade Warrior Award. And I actually have two recipients this year. The first student receiving this award has really stood out this year with his kindness, obedience, and humility. His Christ-like attitude has truly been an excellent example for his classmates to follow. The first Warrior Award goes to Cody Simpson. The next student receiving this award has left no doubt that Christ is the center of her life. She is bold in her beliefs and is not afraid to defend those beliefs to others around her. The second Warrior Award goes to Victorian Collins. Romans 12, 9-19 Love must be sincere, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need, practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave me for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. The first award I have is for fifth grade math. I have two students who qualified for this award. The first student receiving this award excels in math concepts. She is confident in her abilities and seems to enjoy math. She tied with another student for the highest average in fifth grade math. This award goes to Kaylee Balance. The next student receiving this award is a very hard worker. He is a good student and he always gives his best. This student also tied for the highest average in fifth grade math. This award goes to Bryson Mills. The sixth grade math award goes to a student who has an extraordinary work ethic. This student puts himself 100% in whatever he does. He excels in math and has a perfect average. The sixth grade math award goes to Alban Sadler. The last award I have goes to a student who is caring, kind, thoughtful, and considerate. This student leads by example and is not afraid of standing alone. They are the first to volunteer and want to help in whatever is needed. This student is consistently thankful and I have never heard this student complain no matter what I have asked of them. This year's sixth grade Warrior Award goes to Alvin Sadler. Congratulations to you all. It has been our pleasure this year to have each of these students as part of our UCA family. We appreciate all of you and your encouragement and support as we join together to educate and help cultivate character in each of these students. I'm excited for the future of UCA and I look forward to our continued partnership. Have a great summer.